Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Dean with another video for CompTIA A plus exams. This video is for core one and it has 10 questions. Uh, it is part three of the series which I have started recently. Uh, if you want more practice exam questions like these questions, just please check the links in the description where I have my Udemy links for core one and core two with 360 questions each uh, exam. Uh, also I have simulations if you want to have access to all of them. Some of them are restricted for only gold members so you can have access to them by becoming a gold member here in my YouTube channel or gold member in my Patreon page or by purchasing the Udemy course with the simulations. All the links will be in the descriptions. Thank you very much guys and let's get started. Uh, oh yeah, here I have uh, uploaded a picture with the comments, a few comments from one of my simulation video, which is uh, available only for gold members only, and I think it helped many people do well on their exams. And let's start from question 21, because I have uploaded two videos, so this is the third video, third part, and we have reached question 21 and this video is 10 questions like I said from 21 to question 30. So first question A customer is encountering slow performance on their satellite internet connection and a technician observes high latency during a ping test. However, the download test shows excellent speeds. What would be the most appropriate next step for the technician? Advise the customer to consider upgrading their internet plan with the provider to address latency. Restart the modem and utilize an online internet connection and speed diagnostic tool. Clarify to the customer that the observed situation is typical for this type of internet connection and not a cause for concern. Or consider replacing the modem based on the observed test results indicating potential malfunction. So the best answer here would be the technician should do next, uh, sh should restart the modem and utilize an online internet connection and speed diagnostic tool. Okay, there is a bit of explanation here. Uh, restarting the modem can help resolve certain issues that may be causing high latency. Running an online internet connection and speed diagnostic tool can provide more detailed information about the current status of the connection and help identify any specific issues. Upgrading the internet plan may not address the immediate latency issue and it's not appropriate to dismiss the problem as normal without further investigation. Replacing the model might be premature. Before replacing hardware, it's important to troubleshoot and identify the root cause of the issue. Question 22. Which of the following answers refers to an API that enables communication between hosts on a LAN? NetBIOS, DNS, DHCP or TCP IP? The right answer is NetBIOS. So, NetBIOS is an application programming interface that allows applications on different computers to communicate over a local area network. It provides services such as session establishment, maintenance and termination. Domain name system is a system that translates domain names into IP addresses. It is primarily used for translating human readable domain names into machine readable IP addresses. TCP IP Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol is a suite of protocols that enable communication between devices over the internet. It provides also a set of rules for how data should be sent, received and addressed across networks. Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol is a network management protocol used to dynamically assign IP addresses to devices on a network. It helps in the automatic configuration of network settings for devices, eliminating the need for manual IP address assignments. Question 23. A company is considering adopting cloud computing, but desires a cloud solution where its infrastructure is segregated from other businesses. Which of the following cloud models would most effectively meet the company's requirements? 
we have different cloud models. We have private, public, hybrid or community. And the right answer here is private because they want to be segregated from other businesses. In private cloud, the infrastructure is dedicated to a single organization, provides the highest level of control and isolation, making it suitable for the company's need for security. Hybrid cloud combines public and private cloud components. While, while it offers some isolation, it may not provide the level of segregation a private cloud does. Public cloud, computing resources are shared among multiple organizations and community cloud is shared by several organizations with common concerns. While it provides a level of shared infrastructure, it may not offer the same exclusivity as a private cloud. Guys, if you, uh, I'll appreciate if you hit the like button so more people can discover my videos and it can help more people to pass and prepare for their exams. I'll really, really appreciate if you hit the like button and also subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you very much. Question 24. A user connects a smartphone to a laptop. Which of the following types of networks has the user created? WLAN, MAN, PAN or LAN. So these things, you need this net to type of networks, they're important part. I think I had some kind of simulation about this, so check out in my channel. It's, uh, it's good to know them because you might encounter a few questions on your exam. I'm not sure, but you might see something similar. I don't know. So the right answer here is PAN, which stays for personal area network. Uh, and like I said, personal area network is, is for personal devices over a short range. For example, if you want to connect your smartphone to a laptop. A wireless local area network is a local area network that uses wireless communication between devices, commonly used for connecting devices within a limited area such as a home or office. Local area network, a network that connects computers and devices within a limited area like a home, office or campus, typically connected through wired or wireless means. So wide area network, this is a network that spans a large geographic area, often a country or continent, connects LANs and MANs over long distances using technologies like the internet. So, metropolitan area network, a network that covers a larger geographical area than a LAN, but smaller than a WAN. So, this area, wide area network, is the largest from these. Typically spans a city or large campus. Question 25. A type of protocol used in network management systems for monitoring network attached devices is called SNMP, RDP, SMB or NTP. So these are all protocol types. You need to know their, I mean, what they, what it means, what stands for, and also their protocol numbers. I have also simulation about all the protocols you need to know for your exam. So check it out in my channel. And here the right answer is SNMP, which stands for Simple Network Management Protocol. It is designed for managing and monitoring network devices and their functions. It allows network administrators to monitor the performance and status of network devices, including routers, switches, servers, and more. SMB server message block. SMB is a network protocol mainly used for providing shared access to files, printers, and other communication between nodes on a network. It is primarily a network management. It is not primarily a network management protocol. NTP stands for Network Time Protocol, is used for synchronizing the clocks of computer systems over e-network. While important for network operations, it's not a network management protocol. A remote desktop protocol is used for remote desktop connections and is not specifically designed for network management. It is used to access for accessing the desktop of a remote computer. Next question, a user notices that their desktop computer experiences a decline in performance after a short period of use, accompanied by the CPU fan alternating between quiet and loud. Based on these symptoms, which of the following components is most likely experiencing issues? We have hard disk, memory, CPU fan or power supply. Right answer here is CPU fan. 
The CPU fan plays a crucial role in cooling the processor. If the fan is failing or not functioning properly, the CPU can overheat, leading to performance degradation. degradation. The alternation between silent and very loud, loud fans suggests that the fan is not maintaining a consistent speed, which can be a sign of malfunction. Overheating can cause the CPU to throttle its performance to prevent damage, resulting in the observed sl slowdown. The varying fan speeds indicate the fans struggle to cool the CPU effectively. Question 27. In the process of migrating the operating system, a technician encounters difficulty finding suitable current software for a specific hardware device. What would, the most, what would be the most appropriate course of action for the technician to successfully complete the migration? So he needs to utilize virtualization for the application, you need, he needs to upgrade the BIOS to UEFI, he needs to implement restrictions on user access or just to replace the computer. So here he needs to try to utilize virtualization for that specific hardware device. When facing compatibility issues during an OS migration, virtualization provides a solution by creating a virtual environment where the application can run independently of the underlying hardware or operating system. Also, virtualization allows the technician to isolate the application, ensuring it continues to function without being affected by the changes in the new OS or specialized hardware. This approach is particularly useful for running legacy applications or dealing with specialized hardware that may not have updated software compatible with the new operating software, new operating system. Also, virtualization provides a level of abstraction allowing the application to operate as if it were on its native environment, thus facilitating the completion of the OS migration without compromising the functionality of the specialized hardware device. Right, what are the characteristics of SMB CIFC? Select all that apply. So that means we have more than one answer, more than one correct answers. First one, enables voice and multimedia communication over IP networks. No. Provides shared access to files, directories and devices. This one sounds right, let's tick. Used mainly by computers running Linux distributions. No, this protocol doesn't run on Linux. Used mainly by computers running Microsoft Windows operating system. And that's the second correct answer here because this protocol is used mostly with Microsoft Windows OS. Right, provide shared access. SMB CIFS is CIFS is a network protocol used for providing shared access to files, directories, and devices over a network, and it is used mainly by Windows. While it can be used with Linux systems, it is most commonly associated with Microsoft Windows operating system. So we have question 29. A user is researching hard drives to upgrade a PC and has decided to purchase a NVMe drive. Which of the following should the user confirm are available on the PC before making the purchase? Select two answers. So what he needs to check? What he needs to confirm first that he has on his PC? M.2, PCIe, DRAM, SATA, SAS, easy. <laughs> right answer, first right answer, he needs to make sure that his motherboard sports M.2 and PCIe, that's the second right answer. NVMe drives, they're often M.2 form factor drives. Confirming the availability of an M.2 slot on the PC is crucial for compatibility and PCIe uh, NVMe drives, they use the PCIe uh, interface for faster data transfer. Confirming the availab availability of the PCIe slots on his PC is essential. 
So the other options, they're not rela uh, directly related to NVMe drives. SATA, SATA is a different interface used for traditional hard drives and uh, SSDs. Uh, serial attached SCSI, the, they are different types of interfaces and NVMe drives, they do not use this type of interfaces. DRAM is a type of volatile memory used for temporary data storage and it's not, it's not directly related to the compatibility with NVMe e drive and the last question for this video which of the following delivers internet over a copper medium ONT SDN WISP or DSL the right answer here is copper medium that's DSL DSL stands for digital subscriber line is a technology that delivers high-speed internet over traditional copper telephone lines. It uses existing telephone lines for data transmission, making it a common method for broadband internet access. Optical network terminal, this device is used in fiber optic networks, not over copper. And it terminates the optical fiber and converts the signals for use in homes or businesses. Software-defined networking is an architecture that separates the network's control and data plane, planes but is not directly associated with delivering internet over a specific medium. Wireless internet service provider typically refers to a provider that delivers internet access wirelessly, often using radio waves. And it may not necessarily involve copper mediums. And that's it guys, we've finished for today's video, thank you very much for watching, subscribe for my channel if you're studying for CompTIA exams, I have many videos and also I am making more videos for other exams like Network Plus, Security Plus, Server Plus, Linux Plus, so stay tuned, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time, good luck on your exams.